adding images to your products uh, can be made more simple by having all of the images ready prepared. And what I mean by ready prepared is that you have all the uh, image names set correctly uh, with regard to your uh, products and the search engine optimization you want to achieve with it. Uh, so the quickest way to do that is to prepare the images first before you come to add them to a product. And so here are four I prepared earlier. And you can see they've got long names and not very well um, describing what they are. Um, so the first thing is to come to each image and put a uh, search engine optimized type name on it. So I will change these and explain what I've done. So you'll see now the names of all the images, I've changed them to something uh, more sensible. And the way to do that is to click on the image once, pause, click again, and the name can be changed. Uh, so it's important to use your SEO keywords. And so I've only put handle choices there, and that's not really very useful. So I'm going to change that to kitchen hyphen door handles and press enter. Now, I've used hyphens rather than spaces. Uh, the software can deal with image names with spaces as well as hyphens or underscores, uh, but it's a better practice to uh, not put spaces in as uh, funny codes are generated when that is the case. So I now have my four images and uh, I'm just going to hide that for now. Um, I've come into the store and to products and I uh, have a test product here and uh, I can bring up a preview of that test product at any time. As you can see there are no images uh, associated with this test product at all and uh, so we first of all need to uh, work out how to put an image in this area here. So on the edit product page for my product, uh, the first thing we have to do is add a featured image. And you need to find the featured image box on the right hand side. Uh, you can of course grab it with your mouse clicked held down and drag this box up to somewhere where it's more useful for you. Uh, and then click set featured image. These are the existing images uh, that are on your uh, store and we're going to upload a new one. Uh, so select from, go to where I've stored the images and we're going to select the uh, main image. So we'll take this uh, vertical one. So I can either single click it or double click it. And here we can wait for it to upload. Once it's upload, it's available on the right hand side and we want to uh, click Set Featured Image. And then I'm just running a draft, so instead of clicking Publish, I'm going to click Save Draft. Go to my test product and uh, refresh this page, either by clicking the Refresh button on the screen or by clicking pressing F5 on the keyboard. And you'll see we now have an image here, uh, which if we click it, uh, we get to see it. You'll see its name, which we've optimized, has come up, and we can get rid of it. But it's also possible to add extra images under here uh, for either other variations of it or just other views of it. So if it was a car and you wanted to see the front view, the back view, or the side view, we need to be able to add extra images. So we go back to the edit the product and uh, make sure that uh, we're not in with a uh, cursor inside the editing box. So just click outside of the editing box up here somewhere, then click add media, upload files, select files, and we're going to add both of these two. So I'm going to click that one. Hold down shift on the keyboard, click that one, and click open, and wait for them to load. Once 
Once the two have loaded, uh, we do nothing other than click the X. Click Save Draft. But if we go to Test Product, refresh the page, we now have them available under here to see as well with their names and with navigation arrows to go through the three images that we've uploaded. Either X there or just click off the page and we've now got those three images. The way to find those images that are now effectively hidden is to make sure there's no cursor in there by clicking off, this, off that editing area. Click Add Media and now shows you, as you can see here, all media items. But if we drop down to Uploaded to this post, we can see those three. There's the one we're using as the featured image. Those are the two extras. So let's say I want to remove the uh, square one. Click that. Click that Exclude Image tick box if that is all we want to do, is exclude it from this product. Um, however, we could also, or instead, click Delete Permanently, and that would actually remove it from the whole file system. Anyway, click that, then click X, click Save Draft, come back to the test product, refresh that page, I've pressed F5 this time, and you can see that extra image has been removed. Finally, in the test product, down in the product description, you can see I've just got a very large handle, and if we click into the description space, uh, we can also add an image into there. Um, but we need to have the cursor in the right place and go, so I'm going to put it there, add media. I'm going to upload a file, select file, kitchen door handles. Uh, it's loaded, but we now have some choices to make. Um, first of all, the attachment display settings, where do we want it to uh, be on the page? Uh, left, centre, right or none. If we click none, then you'll get the image and then the text after it. If we click left, then we'll have the image and then all the text on the right hand side flowing around the image. So left or right are really the preference. I'm going to select left. Leave that to link to media file. And the only other choice we've got is to check the size. And the full size of this image was 467 wide, and that's probably too big. So we'll select the medium size, which is 300 wide, and it's got its own length. And there we click Insert into Post. Now you can see the image, and the text has gone to the right-hand side because we selected left. Click Save Draft. At any time when you're editing a live product, you can, of course, just click Publish. Go back to the test product, click F5. So we've still got the um, original image. We've got the one of the two images, and we deleted one of them. And this one has gone into the product description, and we can click it to go to see it. But it's also gone into the gallery. If we choose for it not to be in the gallery, but still in the uh, product description, then we go back to Add Media, show the ones for this post only, select our image, click the Exclude Image, press X without pressing Insert into Post, Save Draft, or Publish, Test Product, F5. So we still have it in the product description, but it's not in the uh, choices here. Um, last thing you can do, if you've got a product in the product description, if you click it, you get a delete, or you get to change uh, it, the image itself. Now here are a lot of options. The simple one is to change its size. Just move to where you want and click it. Or if uh, you want to change the way it's aligned, you have the same choices again. None, left, centre, right. None, and you get an example of how it's going to look. Left, 
text flows around it. Center, text is underneath of the image centered, and right, text flows that way. So we'll leave it as left, but we'll shrink it down. Update. Save draft. Test product, F5. And there you'll see the images shrunk.